Welcome to my Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition uh, tutorial number two. I'll be teaching you how to make a network status checker and um, local um, computer name and uh, local IP. So um, let's get started. First of all, open Microsoft. Wait, no, that's C++. Sorry. <laughs> okay, Basic Visual Basic um, new project. Tutorial. Oops, zero, zero, 001. Okay. Windows Forms. You want Windows Forms. Okay. Now, this is where it's going to get fun. You're going to make a button. You're going to name it, um, get name. And make another one. It's going to say get IP. And another one that says close. Mash it up. And, um, there we go. I'm gonna get a label. This label is going to say, um, connect, connection, status, hold on, I spelled it all wrong. Connection, status, semicolon. There we go. Get another label, bring it out there. And that one is just gonna be a dash. Bring another label out that says it's about that far out. I'm gonna make it say um, local IP. I'm gonna get your label lined up with that label. Another dash out there. So uh, I'm gonna get another one. One more. Just about that says. <coughs> yeah, um, this one is going to say um, PC name, and then get your other label out. And uh, there we go. Kind of bring it close up. Just you know, get it going. Okay, yeah, bring it way up there. Not too close, though, because we're going to have chat boxes. So, you want to get it, you know, straight. Um, get that straight. Get that straight. Get that about like so. And move them down one more. Okay, now we're gonna have us check boxes. This one is going to say show name. And the other one is going to say show IP. Hold on, show IP. So, move them down one more. There you go, show IP. And then show name. Okay, so what we do first is we double click our forms here. Come up here. Imports system.net. Get that going. And um, we're just going to copy and paste what I have for you here. If network information network interface get its network available, then we're going to say. Um, Label, well, label two dot text equals connected. Label two dot four color. E well, crap equals color dot green. Um, else label two dot text equals disconnected label 2.4 color equals color dot red <laughs> that seems that is all you need to have on there so it is gonna say connected and your close button doesn't work because you still haven't got it but um you know you got your checks boxes that don't work still 
and um, you got your connected there. So um, first off, I'm gonna start. You're gonna need um, Microsoft Winsaw Control. So what you do is come down here and right click on one of these dialogues that are closed or something, and uh, choose items and just wait. It's gonna take a minute. All right, here we go. You go into Com Components and um, scroll down till you find Microsoft. It's gonna be highlighted Microsoft Windsock Control Version 6.0, and it is about halfway down the list, as you see. It's gonna be right there, Microsoft Windsock Control. Okay, and then you'll see it right here. Bring it up into that corner, right there, so it's out of the way. Our next label is going to say, see this is label 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to get, um, get IP. Get IP. Okay, so we're going to say label 4 dot. Okay, dot text equals axe win sock 1 dot local IP. Label 4 dot. For color equals color color dot green. Um, test it out, and if you press the button, you're gonna get your local IP, which I'm not gonna do that right now. Anyways, um, what you're gonna need now is if check box one dot checked um equals uh equals false then we're gonna put label four dot text equals unknown Label four dot four color equals color dot red. If you test it out, when you press okay, so if that is checked, it's gonna get your IP, but if it's not, unknown. So you get unknown, that is good. Now you're gonna go back and design and show IP. You're gonna make it the check state, um, checked. So and the same thing for here. So you don't have to make them check it every time they run it. Checked. There you go. Back in the code. We're back. And um I'm gonna get name. So um label six dot text equals ax when sock one dot local host name. Label six dot four color equals color dot green. If check box two dot checked equals false. Then label four dot text equals unknown. Hold on, unknown. Unknown. There we go. No label four dot four color equals color dot red. Check this out. Uncheck both. Whoa. Okay. It wasn't supposed to do that. Um. Let's go back. Checkbox two dot checked equals false oh whoops sorry guys level six okay check name unknown and unknown that is what we want to do I'm gonna have to black that out what I had before um anyways we have unknown and if it get that it's gonna show your IP but for now that's it's gonna stay that way and if you unplug your cord, I've already tested that. That is going to say disconnected in red. What you can do now is 
double click this button and just type in close debug it and close there you go it closes your program so you don't have to go up there and press your X button you just got it right there so um, we're just gonna save that and uh, thanks for watching this tutorial see you on the next one